We want to take you now to the latest on a story that you saw first on Local 10 this morning. Three people shot in Key West. It's a horrible story, a domestic dispute turning violent and innocent bystanders hurt when someone tried to break it up. Well, we're now seeing surveillance video of that incident. Local 10's Amy Viteri is live at Jackson Memorial Hospital where two of those victims are being treated. Amy. Well, and one of those victims spoke with us today from his hospital bed. He says he was on a first date just walking down Duval Street when those shots came out of nowhere. And he learned late this afternoon, unfortunately, one, that bullet grazed a bone in his forearm. As a result, he's going to be stuck here for three more days getting antibiotics through an IV. This surveillance video shows the violent fight leading up to a shooting on Duval Street in Key West early Monday morning. Police say Derek David is seen dragging a woman down Charles Street on the ground before people rush in to help. During the fight, David gets out a gun and starts shooting, hitting three men who weren't even involved. It happened very quick, and it was, it was pretty scary. 27-year-old Reed Ogden is recovering after one of those bullets went through his arm. He spoke to us from his bed at Jackson Memorial Hospital's Ryder Trauma Center. I thought fireworks were going off or something, a little celebration, and um, I ended up seeing a guy run past me, and then I heard another pop, and that's when my, uh, my forearm went numb. A bouncer helped chase down David, and police quickly took him into custody. Ogden ran for cover to a nearby bar with his date, where staff helped until medics arrived. Told me to keep my eyes open. Um, the guy ended up getting a tourniquet wrapped around my arm, kept it real tight. And pretty crazy. Was not expecting my keys trip to end up like this, for sure. And a medical helicopter lifted Ogden and another of those victims here to the trauma center where both are expected to make a recovery. A third man was treated at a local hospital and released. As for the suspected gunman, he is facing several charges of aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. We're live at Ryder Trauma Center, Amy Viteri, Local 10 News.